I had the opportunity to study at the Skowhegan School of Painting and Sculpture and was very, very fortunate to be acquainted with and involved with some major players in New York. And I was very naive at that time and I really you know, didn't know who they were. And there was Gabriel Latterman, there was Jacob Lawrence, there was Robert Morris, there was Kenneth Nolan, there was Bryce Martin. And I you know, had read about these people, but I had no idea who they were and what they did. But again, from them, which were basically very representational people, very figurative and very much in technique, you know, I was able to get out of this groove of dealing representationally and started to explore the space around the figure. Everything I do is a series. It's not one or two, but there are anywhere between 75 and 200 of them in terms of creating a dialogue with the work that I'm dealing with. So I want one mark to create a dialogue to another mark that's then going to respond to another mark. So it's basically creating a whole series or an installation of work. And as a mark maker, you're creating you know, a, a series that creates a dialogue again that you know, talks to the piece next to it, that then talks to the piece next to that. Yes. There's definitely a dialogue between the surface and the mark, but there's also a dialogue to the continuing mark on the next piece of paper. Because I'm a systematic painter that deals with process, and each, each piece allows me to take this process to another level. So it might start off on a very small scale and end up in end up in a more monumental you know, scale. Or it might be a shape scale, working with a circle or a, rec a large rectangle rather than just you know, a small rectangle. I'm very much interested in utilizing as many extensions of my hand as possible. Brush is only one. I also use rollers, I use squeegees, I use sticks, I use sponges. I'll use anything that I can find in nature to you know, get as close as I can to making that mark.